Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So welcome to the lecture of this finite volume method and where we will continue our discussion where we left in the last lecture. So what you get essentially combining that two you get the discretized form as AC phi C plus summation of AF phi F equals to BC where your a f is the flux f f which is minus m dot f 0 plus half psi r f plus m dot f 0 plus half psi R f minus minus m dot f 0. Now, A c would be summation of f n b c which is flux c f minus f n b c a f plus f n b c m dot f and b c is q c v c. Now to see the weakness in this formulation, so what one can do, we can this is a multidimensional discretized system. Now to see the weakness one can actually simplify to problem to a one dimensional system and then we can try to look at that what happens when. So if you brings down to or simplify to 1 D to see the weakness. So, the stencil would look like thick. So, this is my C. So, that is the cell faces. This would be E, E, W, W, W and the face this is the east, west so, here it would be m dot e phi e m dot w phi w. So, if you come down to that and assume the flow to be in this direction positive direction positive x, then this equation becomes a c phi c a e phi e a w phi w p c. So, where you can see a e is flux a f e which is half of psi r e plus m dot e a w is flux f w which is minus 1 plus half psi r w minus multiplied with m dot e and a c is summation over all these faces which is nothing but a e plus a w 
and obviously your B C is Q C B C. Now, what you can see now the range of psi r is 0 to less than 2. So, the A e and A w coefficients will be opposite signs except for the upwind scheme where upwind scheme where your psi r f is 0. So, that is violating one of the basic rules for stability and causing convergence difficulties of the iterative procedure. So, same approach if you adopt in the NVA formulation that will lead to the same shortcomings or the similar observation. Now, what is the remedy? So, the remedy is that which is kind of one can do is the deferred correction. So, this is similar to that we have discussed earlier. So, for the higher order scheme also one needs to do some sort of a deferred corrections. So, in which the coefficients will be based on upwind scheme while the difference between HR and upwind scheme would be. So, HR and upwind scheme the difference would be added as a source term. So, this would be added as a source term in the discretized equation and the formulation the coefficient should be based on the upwind scheme. Now, this deferred correction procedure is quite simple as we have discussed to implement because uh, can be used in phase values calculated with upwind scheme and that calculated with the HR scheme. Now, the another issue is that it is easier to implement, but it at the same time it also uh, lower the convergence rate. So, the convergence rate of the iterative solvers also gets affected. So, that effect can be easily estimated on an NBD formulation or the difference between the upwind line and that of the chosen for HRS scheme in the NBF formulation. So, if that difference is the HR high resolution scheme and upwind scheme it becomes larger than as it goes up the converge convergence also goes down. So, if as long as this difference is not too much the convergence will also not be that bad or would be affected. So, that has also kind of opened up an area where scientists and engineers or rather researchers they have put lot of effort to find out a scheme which will be free from this kind of issues. So, that gives us to discuss about two different things which is uh, which was developed on based on this um, technique to overcome the reduction in the convergence rate which is associated with deferred corrections. So, there are two approach one can adopt one is the downwind weighting factor that is D W F method or normalized weighting factor in WF. So, to avoid the problems which are associated with the deferred corrections one just to improve the convergence and other stability limits. So, there are two methods one can adopt one is based on the downwind weighting factor called the DWF method another is normalized weighting factor which is known as the NWF. Now, the implementations with, with respect to the equation system which will be del dot rho v phi equals to q. So, the convection with source term. So, we will do the implementation based on that and now once you start with that equation and your 
discretized equation becomes like summation of f n b c m dot f phi f q c v c. So, these phi values are at cell faces and computed using HR scheme. So, the idea is that one can implement this idea in more effectively in the calculation. So, that is the whole idea. Now, to do that, that is our discretized system which we are dealing with. Now, we will first look at approach A that is downwind weighting factor method or DWF method. So, using in that method, so the DWF factor which could be defined as phi a minus phi c divided by phi d minus phi c, which is phi a minus phi c divided by 1 minus phi c. So, you can rewrite this with the phase value like phi a equals to DWF factor multiplied with phi d plus 1 minus DWF f into phi c, which is phi c plus DWF factor multiplied with phi d minus phi c. Now, which actually redistribute the HR scheme estimate to phi f or the normalized value of phi f tilde between upwind and downwind nodes. Okay. So, the effect is reduced stencil for the discretized coefficients. Now, if the phi f this value is computed using HR scheme which lies between phi c and phi d the value of this d w a factor is always between 0 to 1. So, that is the restriction that you get. Now, instead of computing the d w f directly or explicitly which uses the computed value of phi a uh, the DWA factor can be expressed directly from the functional relationship of of HR scheme. So, one can use the functional relationship which we have already established of HR scheme to find out this DWF factor. So, instead of doing that or instead of calculating that using the calculated or computed phase value one can do that. Now, also and how one can do that one can look out look for this different functional values in now we stick to in the normalized value formulation. Here now we look at first upwind scheme. If you look at upwind scheme the DWF factor would be 0. If you go to second order upwind scheme the DWF factor would be represented at phi c tilde minus 2 into 1 minus phi c tilde. So, similarly like C D one can get 
this d w f factor is half. If you have from then this d w f factor is 1 by 4 into 1 minus phi c tilde. Quick this d w f factor is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 minus phi c. Now, d w f factor for downward scheme would be 1. If you use mean mode, then d w f factor will have three different segment like half of phi c tilde 1 minus phi c tilde that is for phi c lies between half and 0. Once phi c lies between half and 1 that is half another is 0 elsewhere. Now, bounded C D which is D W F is half and or 0 it is elsewhere where phi c tilde lies between 1 and 0. Now, similarly one can write for Osher where d w f will have three segment one is half phi c tilde 1 minus phi c tilde which is phi c tilde less than 2 by 3 0 1 0 where 2 by 3 1 and elsewhere. Then you get smart which is d w f factor is in four different segment one is 2 phi c tilde 1 minus phi c tilde which is the case when phi c tilde lies between 1 by 6 and 0 then it is 1 by 4 plus 1 divided by 8 to 1 minus phi c tilde. So, that is the 5 by 6 then 1 0 when it is lies between 5 by 6 and elsewhere. Similarly, stoic which will also have four segment for this factor. First one is 2 phi c minus 1 by phi c tilde where phi c tilde is 1 by 6 0 it is half which is 1 by 5 half 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 into 1 minus phi c tilde which is 5 by 6 1 and 0. So, that is 1 and elsewhere and the muscle scheme where the factor will have four segment again. First segment is phi c tilde by 1 minus phi c tilde which is lies between 1 by 4 and 0 then 1 by 4 into 1 minus phi c tilde where it is lies between 1 by 4 
and 3 by 4 and lastly where it is 1 elsewhere this is 1 this is 0. So, that is what one can see the different representation of this DWA factor when you look at. Now, this is in NBA formulation because it is based on phi c. Now, if you comparing the TBD formulation, so if you compare with TBD formulation. So, what happens that this DWA factor would be half of psi R f. Now, the coefficients option from this implementation would be diagonally dominant. If you use this downwind factor based on the TBD framework, they will become diagonally dominant and that is why this would be quite stable. Now, for the completeness or the sake of completeness the analysis of the implementation via DW a factor can be written as m dot f phi f equals to m dot f 0 um, DW f f plus phi f plus 1 minus d w f f plus phi c minus m dot f 0 d w f f minus phi c plus 1 d w f minus f phi f with d w f plus equals to phi f minus phi c phi f minus phi c and d w f f minus which is just like your r f and r f minus where the ratio between the consecutive fluxes. This is f minus f f divided by phi c minus phi f. So, Now, the flux coefficients can be written as my flux f f is m dot f 0 d w f plus minus m dot f 0 d w f minus it is 1 minus d w f f minus and flux C f which is going to be m dot f 0 1 minus d w f plus minus m dot f 0 d w f minus and the discretized form of the equation discretized equation would be a c phi c plus f n b c a f phi f equals to b c, where again your a f is flux f f, a c is summation over faces flux c f which is minus capital F with A plus summation of small f with m dot f and your B c is Q c B c. Now, if you look at these coefficients here they can pro 
actually end up giving you a highly unstable system of equation. So, this linear system which you will get back here, this will be quite unstable and it requires quite a bit of under relaxation, under relaxation to get the solution done. Now, this you can see or one can demonstrate by looking at a quick for example, 1 D example. Now, without loss of generality, if you assume this is the positive flow direction, then the 1 D system would become A C phi C plus A E phi E plus A W phi W equals to B C, where your A E is flux F E, which is m dot E d w A plus E, then your A w is flux F w, which is m dot w 1 minus d w F minus F w and A c is summation over faces. So, which is m dot E d w A plus E plus m dot w 1 minus d w f minus w plus m dot e plus m dot w. So, the continuity equation provides you m dot e plus m dot w equals to 0 in other words m dot w equals to minus m dot e. So, these coefficients now they will become a e equals to m dot e d w f plus e a w will become minus m dot e 1 minus d w f minus w and a c which will become minus m dot e d w f plus e plus minus w minus 1. So, that is the simplified system for 1 D where you get this. Now, here if you look at this A E and A W they are of opposite sign. So, this is positive and this is negative. This is a serious violation to one of the basic coefficient rules. Moreover, the values of D W A factors that are larger than 0.5. So, if D W A factor which is greater than 0.5, the diagonal coefficient of A c becomes negative. So, this the diagonal coefficients will be negative in sign and which will actually can be a problem to solve through the iterative process. So, this would occur when your phi, so this is possible when phi f greater than 0.5 of phi c plus 5 d, which is a situation common to all high resolution scheme for phi c greater than 0.5. In fact, the dwf moves much of the h r flux influence onto the downwind value causing this problem. And the situation can be resemble in a effect that central defense scheme. So, it can be some sort of uh, recovery can be made using that kind of things. So, now in the next lecture we will look at the other formulation. So, we will stop here and we will continue the discussion in the next lecture. Thank you.